Hi guys, Don Rice here, and I'm getting ready to bag up a, another type of plywood. In this case, I'm going to be making a half inch wide, half inch thick um, piece of plywood that's going to be made out of carbon and end grain balsa that will one day become the firewall for a 96 inch Jerry Bates Hellcat. And <clears throat> what I'm starting with today is this is a 24 inch by 48 inch um, chunk of quarter inch end grain balsa. And it's kind of cool stuff. I got it from Fiberglast. And they take all this end grain balsa and it's all cut and sanded and uh, nice and even. And they. They join it on the back side with um, a fiberglass binder. And so I'm going to cut some of this stuff up and some carbon, and uh, we'll get all the materials ready and I'll be back. Okay, we're back. And so what I've done is I've cut it up into a couple of 11 inch strips that are 24 inches long. And on eBay, I bought a bunch of uh, carbon uh, remnants. And these are cutoffs from something some company was making. And they're, they're 18 by 18 by 25 inch uh, triangular remnants. And uh, I bought a shitload of them because they were cheap. And... Excuse me. And so what I've done is I've taken um, one right here, one remnant, and cut another one in half to do this, like so. And that's the idea for the layup. And uh, so there'll be a layer there. I'll put a layer here in between, and then this on top and another carbon layer here. So that's the plan. I'll keep cutting. Talk to you soon. All right, so <clears throat> we got everything cut up. This is my mirror. It's uh, 12 inches by 29. Here are two pieces of quarter inch end grain balsa. That's uh, 12 inches by 24. And the way this works is on top of the mirror, I will lay down uh, a membrane, which is that sheet of plastic right there. Nothing sticks to it. It is not perforated, and it'll keep everything from sticking to my mirror. And on top of that, we'll go um, some of this breather cloth, which will absorb uh, some excess resin. And on top of that goes... Uh, another type of plastic membrane, but this one is perforated to allow some resin to flow through and into that breather cloth. And then on top of that, uh, we'll go, nope, lies, lies. On top of that, we'll go one layer of five ounce cloth. That will actually be the outside layer of the part. That'll be the thing that we touch and feel when it's all said and done. And then we'll do uh, one layer of uh, carbon. This is 90-90 weave. And um, then a balsa layer. And then a layer of carbon. And then a balsa layer. And then a layer of carbon. A layer of 5 ounce cloth. A layer of that um, perforated plastic sheet. And then the breather cloth to absorb any excess. And then um, I'll put this plastic um, release breather something or other which helps ensure that I get a nice even pull and apply pressure all throughout the entire mirrored area.
that's the plan. All right, so we're getting close. Um, got the mirror. This is the release material, very thin, like two or three mils, thousandths uh, thick. Nothing sticks to it. That's going to protect the mirror. And then um, this is actually just a cut up trash bag. And I'll use that for wetting out the material. So what we'll do here is lay out one of these. This is going to be the, um, I don't know what they call it, breather cloth, soak it up cloth, something like that. And then on top of that we'll go some of this perforated plastic so that uh, any excess resin will go out these little holes and into the soak it up cloth. And I've, and I've decided that I'm going to, it's going to be balsa and carbon and whatnot, but the outer layers are going to be, uh, I think this is five ounce, five ounce cloth. And that'll be the outer layer to make a nice smooth, um, presentable, touchy feely kind of surface. So we're going to get started on wetting it out. All right. So. At this point, I've gotten a layer of uh, glass and carbon on the bottom of this piece of balsa wood. And, um, and I've got this much carbon placed on the top side. And the goal here is to get this last little triangle into place. And it all gets pretty pliable when it's all wetted out and I'll have a little overlap and that's okay something like that Move that out, make sure we got all the edges covered, and we do. Come here. Want you to go over there. Just like that. Alright, so next up, I'm gonna I'm gonna add some uh, 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 resin to this piece of plywood, uh, end grain balsa. And it'll go on top of here. So that's coming up next. Okay, so at this point we've got two layers of balsa in grain with uh, carbon on the bottom, carbon in the middle, carbon on the top. I've got a layer of five ounce glass cloth on the very, very bottom. And this is going to be the last part of the layup, which is five ounce cloth on the very, very top. The fiberglass is a plain weave, which is a little bit um, stiffer. Why are you doing that? What are you doing? And with any of these kind of layups, you just keep playing with it until it's doing what you want it to do. I use a 
a slower setting epoxy. The West system stuff goes off too fast for me um, when I'm doing this kind of stuff. All right, so two layers of balsa. I need them to be aligned perfectly. Like right there. Right there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Then I hope I got all this in here right. It's an awful lot of work to have gotten something wrong. But, you know, I've made mistakes before. Okay, so that's going to go on there like that. This is the breather cloth stuff that will allow any excess to get soaked up by this right here. And then on top of that, we'll go some of this, which really helps the airflow. All right, next I'm going to try and stuff it into a bag. Okay. <clears throat> I'm glad that's over with. Getting it in the bag is always fun, and uh, but it's in. So I'm going to use uh, these to seal it up. I'll get it over there and uh, get it sucked down, and and we'll uh, be ready to let it sit for 20 hours or so. All right. So moved over to the other side of the shop. That is industrial suck. And he is ready to do his job on the bag here. So, let me get it hooked up. <clears throat> With any luck, there will be no leaks. Suck down. I usually let it get um, start to get tight, and then things can shift around. Um, things can shift around in here, and I want to make sure that everything stays properly aligned. We're on top of the mirror. Everything's flat. So that's about 12, 12 inches of mercury right now. I can hear air leaking, but it's, it's air moving this way and uh, towards the vacuum pump. It can take a little bit with something. This is a not a huge piece of work, but there's a good bit of mass here because this is now a half inch thick um, plus uh, um, three or four layers of carbon and a couple layers of glass plus uh, the wicking you know it's thick so there's a lot of mass in here it's sucking the air out of all right I'll suck that down to uh, about 22 pounds and give it a good hard squeeze for the next 10 hours or so.